Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today I would like us to continue with our topic of discussion, acids, bases and salts. And today I would like us to specifically discuss a process called fractional crystallization. So fractional crystallization uh, is a concept that is learned in solubility and solubility curves. And as we learned earlier, uh, different salts have different solubilities at different temperatures. So every time you talk of the solubility of a particular salt, it's always important to mention at what temperature is that particular solubility. Now, uh, fractional crystallization is a process that is used to separate uh, different soluble salts dissolved in the same solvent by use of their differences in solubility. Two salts that are dissolved, that are dissolved in a particular solvent by separating them according to their difference in solubility. So you can first of all say that uh, this is a method of separating soluble salts according to their difference in solubility in a particular solvent. So the method of separating soluble salts according to their difference uh, in solubility in a particular solvent. So here we are saying that uh, we have salt X and salt Y dissolved in water but both have different solubilities. So we can separate them by use of this method that we are referring to as uh, fractional crystallization. In this method, the assumption is that solubility of one salt does not affect does not affect the solubility of another. The solubility of one salt does not affect the solubility of the other. And <clears throat> we are going to have an example We're going to have an example, and the example is that So we are going to use an example to explain how fractional crystallization occurs. So the example says that if a mixture of salts containing 20 grams of potassium nitrate and 18 grams of potassium chlorate in 100 grams of water. So that means that uh, the 20 grams and the 18 grams of the two salts are both dissolved in 100 grams of water at a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Then we are told that 
one of the salts can be separated using the table below. So the salt, potassium nitrate, its solubility at various temperatures, at 50 degrees, the solubility is 86 grams, of course, per 100 grams of water. At 20 degrees Celsius, the solubility is 31 grams per 100 grams of water. Potassium chlorate, uh, the solubility is 18 grams at 50 degrees and 8 grams at 20. So we are asked, determine which salt will crystallize when the mixture is cooled from 50 to 20. Now let us go through the two. That solubility of potassium nitrate is 86 at 50 degrees and it's at 31 at 20 degrees. So if we had 20 grams of potassium nitrate at 50, if we cool to 20, uh, the solubility is at 31. So that means that potassium nitrate will not crystallize because even at 20, the solubility is still higher than what we have here. So our solution is still not saturated. It can still dissolve more because at 20 degrees, it's supposed to carry 31. But now here it's carrying uh, 20 grams at 50. So even if we cool it to 20, then it will still be unsaturated. So potassium nitrate will not crystallize. But for potassium chlorate, the solubility at 50 is 18. At 20, it is 8. And we had uh, potassium chlorate, we had 18 grams at 50. And then we lowered the temperature to 20. So we expect the difference between 18 and 8 is the mass that will crystallize. We had 18 at 50. But if we cool to 20, uh, then 18 minus 8 grams will crystallize. So the salt that will crystallize here will be potassium chlorate. Because we are saying that by cooling from 50 to 20, we lower the solubility from 18 grams to 8 grams. So it will crystallize. On the other hand, we are asked what mass of the salt mentioned will crystallize. We'll go for solubility at 50. It was 18 grams. But at 20, it is 8 so the difference will be 10 grams will crystallize. 10 grams of potassium chlorate will crystallize. And that is what we are calling fractional crystallization. So that example is a clear indication that uh, it's possible to separate two salts of different solubility. Uh, <coughs> where can this be applied? application or fractional crystallization. Uh, this one has been applied in uh, a number of industries and one of them is uh, during the extraction of salts during the extraction of salts from Trona, from Trona at Lake Magadi. So Trona is a double salt that contains a mixture of salts such as sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate. We still have sodium chloride there. So to extract each of those salts from Trona, uh, we apply fractional crystallization, the difference in solubility. And also, is also used to obtain sodium chloride from the sea water. At Ngomeni. At Ngomeni, can salt a company where sodium chloride is obtained from 
the sea water or from the Indian Ocean. So that is another application of fractional crystallization. So we'll have a, <coughs> an assignment. <coughs> So the assignment, uh, question number one, define fractional crystallization. Number two, use the table below to answer the questions. We have the salt and the solubility at different temperature. Lead to nitrate at 70 degrees Celsius. The solubility is at 78, but at, seven, at, the, at that 5 degrees Celsius, the solubility is at 79. Copper 2 sulfate, solubility is 38 at 70 degrees and 28 at 35. <coughs> then we are asked, we are told that 78 grams of lead nitrate and 38 grams of copper 2 sulfate were in 100 grams of water at 70 and 35 respectively. So in this case you are asked which of the two salts will crystallize and then you explain. Then B, calculate the mass of the crystals formed. And lastly C, which salt will be unsaturated at 35 degrees Celsius. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.